when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so today we're gonna be uh getting some cooking classes from Nita right here. Cooking <laughs> Now I'm just playing. She's about to make me some uh some food and then I'm about to be heading out because I'm about to be going to check out my new possible car that we're gonna be possibly picking up and possibly purchasing. So yeah, this would make how many cars would this make if we got this? How many? Huh? Ten. This would make ten or nine? Nine or ten. 10. This would make car number 10. Right? I don't know. Some along those numbers. 9, 10. Who's keeping track at this point anymore? we will rather be checking out something. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to dig this. But anywho, let's get out and once I'm done grubbing, we're going to be getting out. It's burning. I hear it sizzling. It's burning. I got one piece of lettuce. It's for you. It's for your burger. One piece of lettuce? Yeah. What do I look like? A hamster? You don't like no lettuce on your, on your burger. Who this? It's nigga J calling you. Who's this nigga J? My nurse. Who's this nigga? My nurse. Answer him. Speaker phone. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hey, Bonita. Uh, just a quick question, Bonita. Uh -huh. We got keto cookies, too. These are actually keto. Feel me? Uh -huh. We're almost in the 240s. Hello? 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 Good. I'm gonna get my keto people this recipe one day. This must be the secret ingredients that Plankwin is looking for for the Krabby Patty. It's the Krabby Patty. Oh, look at that. Look at that juice running out of there. All right, so I'm just pulling up the Hexa. We got the SE over there. So, Lil Jay Z update for the fellas. Lil Jay Z update. The block is going to the machine shop today. Finally, the block is finally going. Um, oh, I'm, I'm juiced. Like, we can finally get on it. The heads are done, and now it's just the block. So, Hexa is going to be dropping off the 2 Z block today and uh yeah they're gonna be getting it cracking so bro i'm hoping the next month or two or so we can have the se back on the fucking channel bro y'all know this is the this is like the flagship pioneer car of the channel i mean it's been sitting here for almost two two years or so so you know the rap is whooped as fuck. uh this weather is pretty harsh out here but man the fastest car on the channel should be back man this is like the car that birthed this channel and like I feel like this car, I, I did good with 300ZX, kind of got known for it, but I feel like one of being like one of the, you know, main like SE dudes, where it's like you can't mention a conversation about an SE without like mentioning this car. Like I've already you know established myself in in the SE game, and uh, it's dope. I love it, man. And this is the car that that did all that, which is like it, it's cool because I feel like you know having an SE and representing like SE community, it kind of like gets rid of that stereotype of people and like oh the SE is the poor man Supra whereas like you know this shit's like just as capable if not more than a lot of these Supras out here like you know I've called out dudes with Supras locally and they know this car and they're like no nah, I mean it's no point in running it's like bro you make like 900 horsepower like run the Supra like so you know this is like kind of like what I want with this car like I've always loved the way the SE looks don't get me wrong I'm a huge Supra fan that's like one of my dream cars like I want a Supra so bad but when I couldn't afford a Supra I got this and it was basically like you know my Supra and the tuxedo type of type of thing but ah uh, dude I can't wait I cannot wait for for that fucking thing to be done and uh, built by ALC it's gonna be insane dude like oh I can't wait but you guys know that I was talking about buying a new car and here it is I've told you guys about this car but we are officially buying it and this is the new car that we're going to be adding to the channel it is a VR30 swapped 370Z this car I, I just can't pass it up for the price man 
I feel like this is something that you don't really see a lot of people doing but you know it'll be perfect for our channel it gives us you know adding more to the JEM side of things versus LS this LS that uh, we get another vet this that but this thing the reason why I'm like so so amped about buying it is because obviously we have the VR30 the cool part is this VR30 is actually from a 2018 Red Sport so it is uh, the newer revision you know the earlier years had issues but this one's good. Uh, I'm going to change a few things since we're here. I'm going to have them redo the piping and get the intakes out of the engine bay. That way the air intake temps aren't super high. Um, like, look at it. This thing is clean. Chassis is super clean. I'm going to be swapping these to 19s. It already has uh, coilovers and stuff in the back. I'm going to go around and show you all the interior. This thing has, the, it has a freaking um, a power steering pump out back. Uh, remote mounted but I'm gonna change this I'm probably gonna do like a Q60 electric rack that way I, I can get rid of this uh, pump because this thing is super loud so I'll have them do that while it's here but look at the body dude look at this clean and then come around here look at this interior interior is hella clean but here's the here's a sick point of why I couldn't pass this up this car has one one owner on it and look check that out check that out this car only has 6,000 miles on it and the motor itself like I said it's from a 2000 uh, 2018 uh, Red Sport and the motor itself only has 5,000 I will be the second owner of this car and again this motor just has wild low miles and for the price and what it is I can do the his and hers 350z 370z with Nita and you know have something else that I think will be sick on the channel uh, you guys know that I'm getting ready to supercharge the C6 so oh look the heater working everything heaters blowing all hot let me turn this off let me get out of here actually got the heater on getting hot in that thing but yeah we can do the his and hers with, uh, with Nita and it just gives me like another option to to, uh, to learn on like I'm unfamiliar with the VR30s and you know we'll see uh, you know a little, little learning curve something different I already kind of have an idea on how I want to do this thing because I'm probably going to make this into the, the new daily solo miles and I don't have to put hella miles on the supercharged vet. So uh, this will probably, <laughs> probably be the new daily. The fender has a little booth right here, but he has another fender for it. So um, new fender will be going on. Bumpers all fresh. But yeah, man, this is this is a new car. The, the deposit's already set. This is going to be the new addition to the channel. The new addition to the channel. I think I've only seen one other G30, or I think I've only seen one other 370Z with it. I know Z1 has done it, and there's this other guy on YouTube that I came across and I seen that he's done it. I think there's a there's a handful out there, but you know, I don't I'm not trying to do nothing crazy with it. I just really want it to be my new daily. So we'll see how that goes. I want this thing to look good and we're just gonna mob it around. I'm gonna hook the AC, everything back up. All the lines for the AC and stuff are still here. So all that just needs to be connected. Condenser needs to be uh, filled back up. But yeah, it has two fat air to air intercoolers right here. Y'all can kind of see them. I think it's gonna be a good addition, man. Let me know what y'all think. How do y'all feel about this? I mean, the deposit's already set for it. I'm gonna obviously lower this thing a lot more. We're gonna put some uh, 19s on here. And we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna do the mic mic to it and get it looking good. But man, I really feel like for for the price, how low miles are on the chassis, low miles on the motor, it's just like, ah, I can't pass this up. Cannot pass it up. Y'all can see I, got, I drove Nita's car today. Her Z's right over there. So definitely a few things to do to it, but it is it is a super good start. Car's been sitting here idling for a cool minute. Not getting hot, nothing. It's just this thing's just chilling. Literally, it's like a hundred and about 170. So car runs cool. Fuck, look at the charging volts. Charging volts like 14 point something, 14 about 14.7 good charging volts it's clean man it is clean I really want y'all opinion let me know how y'all feel about this 
I definitely think this breaks up the V8 and Jay-Z stuff. Gives us a another cool little chassis and option. And right now it has a, the factory exhaust, so it's pretty quiet. Couple revs. Everything's super quiet. <laughs> bro, we hear no blow-off valves, bro. <laughs> Dude, it literally said It said <laughs> It said what? I said I don't think it builds boosts out of load They're <laughs> tiles, man They're good Barely. All right, you can move her back. New addition to the channel. I've hinted towards this car before, though. So I know some of y'all may not be surprised, but today we pulled the trigger on her. Look at her. She look cute. Look at her. Look at her. New addition to the fam. Now we got, this makes three Zs. We got the 300ZX. We got the 350Z. And now the 370Z. You guys know I like trios. I would like an FC to put along uh, side my FD, and we got the C5 and C6. So you know we still want the C7, but I do. I definitely like to have like the the trio of cars going down. Yup. Cool, cool. This thing's gonna be sick. One, only one owner, huh? Yeah, one owner, and he crashed it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them, tell them the story on this thing. <clears throat> so it's crashed. You can kind of see the fender here. He took out the front end, 6,000 miles on the car, went to a body shop, and it kind of just sat there for a couple of years and got leaned out. So I fixed it, did the swap, got it going. Yeah, the radiator support, none of that was like messed up or nothing. It was no, like cosmetics. The hmm. But the I got a stock radiator support, and it bolted right in. Front dash bar, the stock support bolts right in. So nothing's bent, except for that fender. Yeah, you, were, you said you already have an extra one for it. Yeah, I got one. Just needs a little bit of love. It's been sitting here for like a year. Well, you know I'm gonna give it love. Yeah. Oh, and then just a heads up for people that may be interested in doing this swap. You know, at Hexa yeah. they do this. So yeah. I'm kind of like buying, I'm buying like their car and then now I'm doing like free marketing. Yeah, part of the deal <laughs> but yeah if you want to vr your your z g whatever hit us up and yeah, they do they do hella uh like 240s if you guys are interested in that they did they actually uh sold oh. kicks the mount for uh his vq s uh, s15 so he ordered the mounts through them you can see that car right there has a, a vq in it they do uh hr vqs like a lot of shit vq also you know jay-z swaps What's this one? This one's what? VQ still or? This is the Jay-Z. Oh yeah, so yeah, y'all can see like they do a whole bunch of shit here. A whole bunch of different different type of swaps. This is just back for some firewall work in the back. Yeah, this was our first Jay-Z swap. Do two two rears, all kind of stuff. Two fronts. RBs, we need more RB cars. What's this one getting again? It's got a VQ 37 in it. Uh, single turbo so yeah man y'all already know i've been coming here for for years y'all can y'all see like se's and shit are coming here now <laughs> my my se's over there but yeah this thing this thing is cool man like this is gonna be a i'm not trying to make it to where it's like oh this is the fastest shit i own but i definitely want it to be like all right it's a new daily it's cool and when the new z comes out you have that engine so all that aftermarket support that comes out when the new Z comes out is probably going to fit this. Same suspension. I don't want to do nothing. I want to just leave it alone and make it reliable. AC, drive around. This is going to be like my new my new daily. Yeah, it's perfect. New daily, take it to a car show and people will be like, oh damn bro, it got a VR30. Just something different. Is that a little GTR engine? Hey, a little D-stroke GTR baby motor. Oh, there's some other fender right here. It's good, just like a little ding. It's better than that one. It's not folded in. Yeah, have Jesse go through and buff this thing and polish it, color correct it. Or just have Paradox wrap it. I don't know, this black might 
I mean, this, this black is like... It's good. <laughs> it was good until you scratched it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't need nothing aesthetically. Like body-wise, it's fine. I mean, I got the I already have the rear diffuser and shit sitting in the cart. I got splitters. I'm probably gonna leave the front bumper like this. I like, want it simple and clean. So. I got the wing too. Which wing you said it was? The veil side. The veil side wing. Yeah. I literally want a simple, clean daily. Give my give my C6 a a break. I put hella miles on that thing. Right. C6 has been good old faithful, but. I feel like this would be cool. I already told George if this shit blows up and I start having problems, we're gonna have to come here and fight. Fight. We're gonna be we're gonna be in here in the gloves. We're gonna bring the gloves. <laughs> That's <laughs> it, dude. <laughs> Alright, we're just getting back to the hut. About to go tell my old lady that we are bringing car number 10 to the family. Man, this is literally about to be my 10th car. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What else am I missing? The SE. Hold on. Fucking up the count. Where you at, woman? Huh? So, Why? we got a new car. <laughs> Another car? Yeah, we got... The three, or the... 370? Yeah, 370 with the VR30 swap. It's clean. The engine has 5,000 miles on it. The chassis has 6,000 miles on it. It's kind of hard to pass up. The price is right. You got pictures? Yeah, I took some pictures. Okay. I'm about to uh, order I some parts. I'm about to order some parts. I ain't mad at it. Are you getting rid of one? I don't know. Maybe we'll get rid of your car. <laughs> if I get to drive the 370, I won't be mad at it, but... We'll figure it out. Grams? What? Guess what, Grams? What? I just bought another car. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. We're running out of space. You done ran out of space. So we're going to kick your car off and make it go home. You don't need it. How come I don't need it? Because you don't need it. You can drive one of my cars. We need cool shit in the driveway. Ain't nothing wrong with my car in your driveway. But we need cool shit in the driveway. It's we don't cool. need no regular car. We need cool shit. It's cool. We need cool shit. People be like, oh, look at the house. It must be like look 30 people cool. that live there. <laughs> Where are you going? Get my hair done. You going to take me to get my hair done since I don't need my car? <laughs> oh, maybe you need your car. <laughs> I want to be stuck out there with you all day. You can get in the fast lane. If I drive one of my cars, we can get in the fast lane. Because <laughs> I got the two-seater. What do you think? You gonna like? You like the new car? You want to see my new car? No, I like the G70. I mean, 370. Want to see my new car, Granny? What is the name? It's a, a 370Z, but it has a VR30 uh, twin turbo motor. What are you shaking your hair for? What's that? You gonna let me drive it, though? Here, see it? What you think? Drive it? What you think about it? All I see is the hood up. Granny, there you go. Here got a better picture. You like that? You like that? What color are you gonna paint it? I'm gonna repaint it all black. Maxine. Keep it all black and yeah. I'll show you in a little bit. What? Take me to get my hair done. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Granny, huh? Jesus, look like look carpet. Right down. <laughs> Granny, why is it smashed to your head like this? Because I've been had this hat on. I want y'all to know, my granny ain't, look at this, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> granny, it's a sponge. <laughs> why is it smashed to your head like Man, that? Quiet. All right, so we're going to be uh, wrapping this up, but uh, also forgot to tell y'all, on the way home just now, I actually made a couple phone calls uh, as I was driving, and I contacted Z1. I've been knowing John at Z1 for a few years now. Cool ass dude. Uh, you guys see me recommend Z1 all the time. I purchase Z1 parts, and uh, just recently, 
uh, somebody from Z1 that runs their main page actually hit me up was like, hey, we seen you order something. If you ever need something, just hit us up directly. And I've been knowing John for hella long and I've never asked Z1 for anything. So uh, I called Z1 on the way home, asked to speak to John. As I was talking to John, I told him like, hey, no one knows about this car. I haven't mentioned anything. And Z1 is one of the only other people that have done this swap. They actually have one of their shop cars that has a VR30 swap and they were like the first to do it. So uh, if I was gonna have anybody help me with this and point me in the right direction on how to get this thing done right, it would be Z1. So hit up John, I'm like, hey, you know, this is what I have. No one knows about it. Uh, I'm reaching out to you. Uh, I wanna have you specifically tune it. And John was basically like, hey, my boy, you know, man, it's good, you know? Like literally was like, bro, I'm gonna take care of you. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you the, we're gonna, you know, set it up to where you have the same tune similar to the one that's on our uh, on our personal shop car. Uh, I told him to just dial it down because I know they have it on 93 and we only have 91 out here. So, I mean, realistically, once John uh, sends me a tune file, the car already has ECU tech and all that stuff on there. So, um, this car should roughly make about 400 wheel. It should, it should put 400, you know, 400 wheel, 400 plus somewhere down there at the tire. So, um, that'll be fun. And then also the second place that I contacted was ISR. ISR basically, uh, they were sponsoring Nita's car for her LS3 setup when, you know, I'm getting ready to do that, uh, in the future or whatever. Uh, they also hooked it up with Aaron's car and they also hooked it up with my LS3. So they've been like, you know, contributing and helping out in a big part of my LS3 stuff. But I know they make a lot of 350Z stuff and reached out to them and I was like, hey, you know, I'm one of you guys' drivers. Um, you know, I've never called. We've always dealt with uh, each other directly through Instagram and kind of explained what I had going on and what I wanted to do. And they were like, oh, yeah, you know, we're down. Uh, so they're sending a full exhaust system for the car. Uh, y pipe and all that and you know these are just people that I've reached out to that have been rocking with me for a minute and you know they're already contributing to the build so uh, it's dope that you know you have backing like that um, saves you some money on getting everything started so a uh, big shout out to John at Z1 and the guys over at Z1 and big shout out to whoever it is that runs ISR I still don't even have a name or a face to put behind whoever's like sponsoring this stuff but like I said we usually network through social media and it's crazy because you know uh and nowadays that's just how things work you just networking through social media all i know is isr on instagram uh, whoever runs it i've i haven't got a name or nothing so uh big shout out to whoever it is behind the keyboard working the mastery and whoever it was that i talked to today uh, that helped me out he was from a, a totally different department but he still got it done and said that it's getting shipped out today or tomorrow and things should be here uh before the weekend so Big shout out to everybody, man. Uh, we're definitely gonna reach out to a few more people to see uh, what we can do to, you know, make this build something that's sick and something that keeps my budget down. Like, I don't want it to interfere with what's going on or what's gonna be coming in later months for the LSA or, you know, the C5 and C6 stuff going on. So uh, as much support we can get would be greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, man, either way, you know, we always manage to get things done. So uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Granny's trying to make me take her to go get her hair done, which I'm probably not going to do. <laughs> <laughs>